everyone, welcome to Epiphytic Cacti. Today we're going to talk about the Aporophyllum Hybrid Temple Glow. According to the Epiphyllum Society of America Registry, Aporophyllum or Aporophyllum type was originally coined to describe a cross between Aporocactus flagrilliformis and an Epicactus. Although not legitimate, it is widely used for any Aporocactus cross that has cylindrical or three to four angled or ribbed spiny stems. Temple Glow was registered around 1960 by Harry Johnson of Johnson's Cactus Garden. The description is lavender pink, outer petals orange and recurved, funnel form, a porophyllum type, and the flower size is small. I find that there are no serious cultural issues with this hybrid. This hybrid grows very well and it flowers very easily. To me, this hybrid is a very good hybrid for a beginner grower who is just interested in trying out growing a porophyllum. I find that it is one of the easiest hybrids. A porophyllum hybrids tend to appreciate more light than epiphyllum hybrids. The reason being is that a porocactus generally grow in higher light areas. A porophyllum also appreciate less water than your standard epiphyllum hybrid. The same reason applies. It's because they naturally grow in areas where they receive less water. You can see here that the hybrid has buds forming just on one side. That's because this hybrid is growing in the house. We are just going into spring, so the hybrid is developing buds. This hybrid in particular is one that throws blooms very easily, even indoors. I have this growing in an east-facing window through the winter time, and every spring it is the first hybrid to start budding. It doesn't suffer any serious bud drop indoors, Indoors, the blooms are generally a little bit paler. When this hybrid gets moved outside this spring, it will continue to flush with blooms. This is also not a small specimen, and in my experience as a porophyllum mature, they have a strong tendency to be able to free bloom, meaning they can bloom all throughout the year at various times. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the flower. You can see here the clean, clear pink tone of the flowers. There is a slightly darker pink midstripe on the inner petals. The outer petals have a somewhat peachy, orangey midstripe. I have noticed that with this hybrid, the color of the midstripe of the outer petals is fairly variable based on the temperature. You can see this flower has a true funnel form, and you can see the recurving of the back petals. As this hybrid ages, the back petals will recurve further and further. As noted, the aporophyllum type do have spines, and caution should be used when handling the branches. As the branches age, they can have a tendency to get woody. I will say that aporophyllum types do seem to attract pests indoors. The two pests that are problematic, one is just your standard white scale and the other one is mealybugs. That can be somewhat of an issue to try to deal with and to try to remove because, this bran because the branches are so spiny. I will spray them with alcohol to treat the mealybug and to treat the scale. It's something that if you stay on top of it, you can keep under control that way. However, there are some plants that when they move indoors, I will actually treat with a systemic insecticide. Any plant that's been treated with a systemic insecticide is not allowed in the living quarters of the house. It will have to be in the basement. I definitely do not treat outdoor plants with systemic insecticides. I have no desire to harm any of the bees or the birds or butterflies or anything like that. So I definitely will not use systemic insecticides outdoors. I do find that outdoors, because there are natural predators for those types of insects, I just don't have the same sorts of issues. So there are certain plants that I will definitely just treat with systemic insecticide directly when they come indoors. They, the systemic insecticides only work for a certain period of time. So when I treat these plants with the systemic insecticide indoors, it is exactly when they come in for the winter time and they do not get a second treatment no matter how problematic the pests are. Thanks for watching and happy cacti growing.